Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today I'm sharing a card with the new Hillside Cover Die, which is a great A2 size die with all of these little stitched hills in it, plus the Cub Cuddles stamp set and coordinating dies to create a thank you card. From some watercolor cardstock, I'm going to die cut the Hillside Cover Die. I'm going to run that through just a couple times, make sure I get a nice clean cut. And I actually must have missed just a little bit along the side, so I'm going to take my scissors and snip that really quick. I'm going to apply color to this hillside cover die, and I wanted it to be really soft and sweet. So I'm using a combination of Distress inks to color this, some of my favorite soft colors to use together. I'm going to start with the Twisted Citron ink. I like to tip my cardstock to the side for whatever reason. I just find that that's kind of how I uh, tend to do it. I'm not masking anything off because I am going to, as I apply each of these four colors, they're going to be blended together. I'm only using each little section as a guideline. Again, starting with the Twisted Citron ink, and I'm doing the two bottom areas with this because those are kind of going to be the ground or landscape of my scene. Next, I'm going to blend in some squeezed lemonade distress ink. It's probably going to be the smallest area of color. Then I'm going to pull in some spun sugar distress ink. Blending it really good into the yellow. I'll go back with my yellow ink blending tool to blend those out. Then I'm going to move on to the Cracked Pistachio ink for my final color near the top of my scene. Lay that color down really well. Go back with my Spun Sugar ink blending tool and blend those two colors together so that there's just a seamless transition from one color to the other. When I have that done, I'm going to take the Distress Sprayer, spritz the whole cover with water, let that sit for about 25-30 seconds, and then blot it dry with a paper towel. And it's just a soft and sweet, really pretty spring-like background. I'm going to take a greeting from the Cub Cuddle stamp set and stamp that there along the second section on my background. It says, thank you for always being there. You could choose any of the great greetings from this stamp set or other Mama Elephant stamp sets. Then I'm going to take a scrap of watercolor cardstock, stamp one of the cub images from the Cub Cuddle stamp set using antique linen distress ink, and do a little no-line watercoloring. I'm using the gathered twigs and scattered straw distress inks to color in these cute bear images. Just going around with my Gathered Straw Distress ink first and then blending it out with a little extra water and then pulling in a little scattered straw. I'm applying a little more water to soften it. So near that outside line, it's definitely going to be darker, but as I move towards the inside of the image, it's going to be a little softer, a little more muted. I thought that the no line coloring would work really nicely with the Distress Inked background and give it a little bit more of a soft appearance. Once my first bear is done, I'm going to move on to the other small bear. I think they're a little hard to see here on camera until you get the image maybe outlined and colored in a little bit. Start building up that color. Again, just with the gathered twigs distress ink for the majority of the bear and then a little scattered straw and gathered twigs blended together for the nose area of the bear. Keeping that line darker kind of around the outline of the image to just really give it some nice definition. I'm going to take a little sponge sugar distress ink color in the insides of ears and pink in the cheeks a little with that ink. One thing about the no-line coloring is you do lose the detail of eyes, eyes and noses and things like that. So I'm going to go back in with a fairly dry paintbrush, grab a little of that Gathered Twigs Distress ink and color or draw in the eyes and color in the noses. Get that detail back to really make the cute little bears shine. Once that is all 
colored in and stamped and I'm done with that. I'm gonna move on to the adorable little birdie. There's a couple of little bird images. I'm gonna pick one of those for my card here today. It's a teeny tiny little image. Again, I'm gonna go with the no line water coloring, stamp that with the antique linen ink. And then I'm gonna color it in with some cracked pistachio and scattered straw, or squeezed lemonade rather, distress ink. I had these colors out already for coloring in the background, so I'm just gonna press them on an acrylic block, pick them up with a damp paintbrush, and color them in. So the birdie is going to be colored mostly with the cracked pistachio ink. I'll blend in a little squeezed lemonade for the tummy. Draw that little uh, wing back in with a drier paintbrush and the cracked pistachio ink and use a little carved pumpkin for the beak. I'll draw the eye back in with the Gathered Twigs Distress Ink as well as the two legs. Once both of these images are all colored, I am gonna take the Coordinating Cub Cuddles dies, tape those in place, and die cut these using my Big Shot die cutting machine. Just snipping all of the are each of these little pieces apart using some metal wire cutter scissors. I like to use post-it tape to hold my dies in place so they don't shift as I run them through. You can see now all of these great little sections will pop apart. So if you wanna tuck little characters or, or images and really scene build, it's really easy and fun with this die. I stamped the grass image from the Cub Cuddles next to the bear using the Twisted Citron ink. It's gonna really blend in, but give just a tiny bit of definition there. And then I'm taking a paintbrush and kind of coloring that out. I'm gonna go ahead and secure both of my images, the bears and the bird, to my scene. Tuck the bear's foot there kind of underneath that bottom section. Then I'll use a mini glue dot to attach the birdie next to the greeting. And this is pretty much done. This looks beautiful as is, but I thought it would be fun to add some glitz and glimmer and sparkle to my image or scene with the Pretty Pink Posh Mini Iridescent Star Confetti. So I'm using some Ranger Matte Medium and I've just applied some dots of it kind of here and there all over the scene of my card. I've got a little tip there on it to make it a little bit more precise. And then I'm picking up these iridescent stars and placing them here and there. Sometimes I have more than one star that I'm attaching to a little dot of glue. I really want it to be appear very random, so I am just kind of picking them up with my finger and dropping them down, using the quick stick tool if I need to to help uh, position them. I originally kind of had just this small scattering and then I attached this card to my card base, but I realized I thought it would look great with even more and having lots of sparkles, so I did go back in after attaching the panel to the finished card base and I added a whole bunch more of these iridescent stars. And I really love how they look with that soft pastel background. Really pretty. I took a little glossy accents and it added detail to the noses on both of the bears. Here's my card base. I'm using a side fold card base, placing some nice strong adhesive all over the front of the card base and then attaching my panel there. As the matte medium dries, you will not see any of that adhesive, just those great iridescent stars. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Cub Cuddles, Stamps and Dies, and Hillside Cover Die. Here are a couple more Mama Elephant videos you might be interested in. All the supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.